The Sun Galaxy Z Fold 4 are here. While they make look similar to their predecessors, they bring a number of key updates. Last year was all, ab all about making the foldable and everyday smartphone and not a device you had to baby and protect. Samsung made two leaps in technical innovation by waterproofing its foldables to the IPX8 standard and making the Galaxy Z Fold 4 compatible with the S Pen. Those are two unique traits for any folding phone ever in 2022. Samsung also reinforced the hinge and overall construction to make sure they fare better in the long run. This year, it's all about bringing Samsung foldable cameras up to speed. Last year's Galaxy Z Fold 3 had a 12 megapixel main camera dating back to the Galaxy S20 from 2020. So this year, Samsung did the right thing and gave Galaxy Fold 4 of cameras some major updates. So the Galaxy Z Fold 4 has now 50 megapixel main camera and the 10 megapixel 3x zoom sensor from the Galaxy S22 series. The ultra wide sadly is still fixed focused, but it's still a far more competent setup than last year. Overall, the Z Fold 4 feels rather similar to last year's Z Fold 3. Sits well in the hand and is easy to use when folded and opening tons of potential for superb multitasking when unfolded. At first glance, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 looks nearly identical to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but there are in fact some neat quality of life design changes added to the new model. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is not only lighter at 263 grams, which is about 10 grams less than its predecessor, but also slimmer, thanks in part to a redesigned hinge and the fact that its display will be shorter and a bit wider, making it a tad better for consuming content. This of course will slightly change its display aspect ratio. While the Z Fold 3 had a 22.5 is to 18 display, the Z Fold 4 is noticeably a squarer in comparison with an inner display ratio of 23.1 is to 19. So we kind of expected Samsung to throw in an under display fingerprint scanner on the Z Fold 4 and even heard rumors about a double-sided one that would also allow the user to use the biometric feature from the cover screen as well. Samsung's newest foldable still relies on the good old capacitive fingerprint scanner embedded right within the power button. Don't get us wrong, although it's not cutting edge or pushing the innovation boundaries further, this fingerprint sensor still works excellent, authenticates and unlocks the phone in a jiffy and usually in one swift motion. There's still a noticeable wedge gap when folded, leading to the infamous sagging design which might still not strike the fancy of some. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 still has that IPX8 water resistance allowing the phone to be dunked into 1.5 meters of fresh water for up to 30 minutes but sadly dust resistance is not part of this combo deal probably next year right as for the color options the z fold 4 will be available in gray green phantom black beige and burgundy the new colors look really nice in person, the green one is particular stands out as really classy and Samsung mentioned that cases in the some colors will be available for purchase as well. The main piece that makes this phone as cool as it is, its large and beautiful AMOLED folding display now comes in a different aspect ratio, making it ever so slightly better for media consumption. We are talking about an expansive 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED screen with a 2176 by 1812 pixel resolution, which looks sharp enough in person but also truly captivates you with its vividness and brightness, typical for a Samsung display. The main display's crease is smaller 
to the on the old phone that's kind of bad news if the crease bothered you on the z4 3 and its predecessors it will certainly bother you here as well still that's the price you have to pay for the utility of a foldable phone and rest assured getting used to said crease isn't particularly hard the 6.2 inch cover screen now has much thinner bezels and looks much more adequate for longer uses typing for example as well as mundane tasks like social media consumption and regular web browsing are all just some of the experience that feel much improved in comparison with the z4 3 both the Z Fold 4's big folding display and its smaller outer display are 120Hz AMOLED ones, which means a super smooth Android interface, smooth gaming, and best of all, vi vibrant, rich colors with pitch blacks. They are not equal, to the main display can go as low as 1Hz, while the cover screen only hits 48Hz at the lowest. But that didn't bother us one bit when we played with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The Z Fold 4 scores a new camera setup that's essentially similar to the one found on the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus. This means a 50 megapixel main wide angle camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom, and finally a 12 megapixel ultra wide snapper. As a result, image quality should be similar if not better to the Galaxy S22 series. Samsung could have achieved that by fully utilizing the power of the latest Qualcomm chipset that powers the Z Fold 4, so here's to hoping that image quality has scored some nifty improvements despite using the same hardware from earlier this year. Another key aspect of the Z Fold 4, its under-display camera, has also received some much-needed love from Samsung. See, it's still a 4MP unit and its overall quality hasn't improved in multitudes but uh, it's now covered by a much denser display layer with a less pronounced pixel grid. It's harder to make out especially when you are checking out videos or pictures in full screen mode so you can still make out its location if you look closely. Still an impo important improvement that could lead to nearly invisible under display cameras in the future. Yet if you really want to snap a great selfie, you are much more likely to use the 10 megapixel selfie camera on the cover screen or even use the main cameras and preview your pictures on the cover screen. This seems like a surefire way of to success on the selfie front. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is shaping up to be a productivity powerhouse just like its predecessors thanks to some new, even better multitasking features or at the very least improvements over the old ones. Running three apps at a time in split view with even more in pop-up windows if you wish to and having a fixed dock are just a couple of novelties that pump multitasking to 11. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 has a functional taskbar of shorts or a dock which houses your recent apps and is customizable with whatever apps and app combos you might wish to have as shortcuts. It functions rather similar to a Mac dock or a PC taskbar and definitely improves the multitasking capabilities of the inner display. As we mentioned, you can use up to three apps in split screen mode with all having fully resizable borders as well as open other apps in pop-up mode for multitasking that's bordering with the overwhelming. Granted, even though the inner display is rather larger and convenient for such tasks, using an S Pen could definitely improve things as running so many apps at the same time could quickly lead to digital cl claustrophobia. Speaking of S Pen, 
Samsung still has a dedicated fold version of its superb S Pen stylus available as a separate purchase and just as before you will have to slot the accessory in any of the available S Pen cases which are also sold separately. The whole shebang is ran on Android 12 L with Samsung's latest One UI 4.1.1 software on deck. Have in mind that Android 13 is just around the corner and we expect this one to hit the Z Fold 4 in a couple of months time with possibly many new features in tow. Samsung DeX is also still available on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 giving you slightly different but also superb multitasking experience in a desktop environment. DeX comes off as especially useful when you connect your Z Fold 4 to an external display and wish to take full advantage of that larger screen real estate. Definitely a productivity powerhouse this phone is. So what's the bottom line? The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is certainly shaping up as the top contender for the best foldable of 2022 title and looking at the not so diverse competition, the race could be mostly uncontested. A multitasking powerhouse with potentially great camera setup and key improvements in some important areas, the Z Fold 4 does a lot of things right and generally feels like an excellent phone. Still, it also seems like a rather safe and iterative upgrade over the Z Fold 3 which is still an excellent device itself. Samsung has decided to go for the incremental evolutionary path and wouldn't want to change its proverbial foldable winning term. The reason for this is mostly the lackluster competition which doesn't really push Samsung to take bolder risks and innovate more with its foldables which is the most probable reason why they mostly feel like slightly improved variations of 2021's foldable crop. Could this somewhat lenient attitude lead to problems for Samsung's foldable line in the near future? It's possible, we have seen Samsung struggle in the past when it has been comfortably resting on its laurels.